What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, we finally got to Goldenrod City. Did a little bit of training off screen, just a small amount of training, because I was going back and forth on a few decisions that I wanted to make, but I didn't make it. So, I'm back here, Goldenrod City. We're going to be taking a small tour of this place. It is a big place. It's kind of like the Celadon City of uh, Johto. Except, it's Goldenrod City, for those who just want to, like, correct me or something. As you can see, there is a big-ass Pokemart, and there is a bunch of stuff to do right here. I think the first place we're going to be going to is uh, the bike shop. So let's go right here, and Goldenrod City, the festive city of opulent charm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And this guy right here, what is he doing? He's like, I know there's a bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, if you look at it a little further, you know, just a little further down... It might be there. I don't know. See, the world is a cycle path. Bike shop. Wow. How hard is it to find this bike shop? I don't know. So, let's talk to this individual. He's like, huh. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Mm, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. Really? Great. Give me, your, uh, give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. So we got ourselves a bicycle right here. That's good. That's good. It will make us go a little faster. He's like, my bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. That's good. It's very, very good. So we got that. And uh, since we got the bicycle, I'm... here's a cool nifty thing that we can do. Um, you can now uh, press this to register your bicycle and just press the select button and boom. Look at that. We're riding our bicycle for the first time and uh, I guess we're... I don't know, I guess we're advertising, and uh, I don't know, this guy seems to not have found the bicycle shop right now, that's why I'm spinning around him. Okay, so, enough of that. Back to, uh, psych or not, by back to Goldenrod City. Now, another place you can look for is, yeah, your playground, Goldenrod City Game Corner. This place right here is just like uh, the game corner in Celadon City. You get to play the games, you get to get uh, some prizes and whatnot, play the slots right here. Um, let's see, I don't even think, oh yeah, she's like, welcome to exchange your coins for a fabul fabulous prizes. Of course, we don't have the gold, uh, the, the coin case, so we'll actually have to come back here in just a little bit for, you know, to just to play the game right here. So, we're gonna go further, let's see, talk to this guy, he's like, whoo, this is one big town, I don't know where anything is at, or anything is. And, uh, let's see, if we go here... You can talk to this girl. She's like, are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. Sure, why not? I got like a bunch of them who calls me in. Oh, well, look at that. It is Bill's phone number. He's like, my big brother made the PC for Pokemon storage system. That's good. That's good. Okay, so this must be Bill's house or something. I don't know. Oh, you collect Pokemon? My son, Bill, is an expert. He just he just called to the Pokemon Center in Akrotech City. So that is the next town. My husband went to the went off to the game corner without being called. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is at least we know this is a uh, Bill's uh, hometown or his parents' hometown. I don't know. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Where else? Oh. So this is also the place where you can actually find the magnet train. He's, this lady right here is like, is that man in black dressed up at, like a Team Rocket member? How silly. Hmm. Well. Let's see. Like. Let's see, this guy's like, they built a new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. Huh. But look at that. The guy in the black. He's like, huh. He's like, so this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pez? Scram. Hmm. Doesn't really like us. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go into the radio tower. As you can see, there's a PC right there. You talk to this lady right here, and she's like, welcome. Talk to this guy. It's kind of like a gambling thing, or not a gambling thing, but just a, a raffle. If you get, like, see, he's like, are you a, are you here for the lucky number show? Yes, I am. Want to check on the ID numbers of po of your Pokemon? If you get the lucky, uh, if you get lucky, you get a prize. This week's number is forty-seven twenty-eight three, and uh, he's gonna check it up, and we might not get it. I got lucky one time. I remember getting lucky one time. And he's like, nope, none of your ID numbers match. You know, back then, I actually thought that most of my Pokemon's ID numbers varied from all the Pokemon I captured. Turns out that I only have one ID. And I only have, like, what, three Pokemon from different Pokemon trainers. So, 
whatever. Now, one of the biggest things that that you can get right here is this, the radio card. We have a special quiz campa uh, campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win the radio card. Slide it into your Poke Gear and to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try and take the plot, or would you like to take the, the quiz? Heck yes. Okay, so question one. Is there a Pokemon that only appears in the morning? Yes. Yes, you know, it's Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Yes, there are. Question number two. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at a March, which is true. Look at that. Bullseye! Question number three. Does HMO1 contain the move Flash? No, it's HMO5. I have it. You know, I can go into my pocket and just say that now. Question number four. Faulkner is the Violet City gym leader who uses bird Pokemon. Heck yes. Yeah. Well, it, you know, if you want to be more specific, flying type Pokemon. Wow, right again. Here's the final question. Do Goldenrod Game Corner slots have Charmander on their reels? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm going to put no. And would you look at that? We answered all five questions correctly. And she's like, here you go, the radio card. And look at that. We got ourselves a radio card. Nice. So please tune into the radios and let's go ahead and go to our Poke Pokemon or Poke Gear. So you can see now we have a radio and uh, you can go up and down right here and you can find different kinds of channels like Professor Oak's uh, talk right here. You know, his Pokemon talk. If you go further, you got Pokemon music. Might want to make me go to sleep. And then let's see, the lucky channel right here. He's like, yeah, how y'all doing now? Whether you're up or way down low, don't you miss the lucky number show. Oh, so this is, yeah, you, you'll find out what number it is. I just found out the number. I don't care. Okay, so what's the next one right here? Hmm, there's a few radio stations right here. What about 15? There's nothing. Holy crud, there's nothing. Okay, so if you go into different, like, Eventually, you're going to find some weird uh, transmissions onto the radio. We will find them later on. But, yes, you'll be able to find them on your radio station or on your radio. Um, so, that's pretty much it right there, guys. Um, let's see. There's some other place that we can go to now. If you go right here, this is the Magnet Train. And, unfortunately, there's, you know, you can't really go onto the Magnet Train right now because the guy's like, the Magnet Train or the train hasn't come in. I know. I'll carry the passengers on my back. That won't work. It really won't work. Uh, there's something going on with the Magnet Train, and uh, we can't go on there right now. It's going to be way, way later until we, you know, get on this place right here. So, moving on forward right here. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, yeah, the Pokemon Gym is right here. This is uh, the Golden Rod City Pokemon Gym. The leader is Whitney, the incredibly pretty girl, I guess. I don't know. And then if you go right here, this is the Blooming Beautiful Flower Shop, which we will be going there eventually. Don't really need to go right there. Um, let's see, let's see. I think this is, uh, I think that's pretty much it for everything else. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, the Name Raider. Get your Pokemon's nickname rated. Hmm. Well, this guy can change our Pokemon's nicknames. Hmm. Let's see. Talk to Batman. Teddy, Lucky, Cinder, Egg. I might change the egg's uh, name. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so... Okay, so there's one more place that we need to fa check out, and it's the underground entrance. Now, there is something that I want to do before we go in there. I don't know. I'm going to decide right now. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go in here right now. I, don't, I really don't care. So... This guy is like, I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You'd better, you better be careful. Hmm. Okay, so there are Pokemon trainers right here, and uh, well, I'm gonna have to go with Lucky right here because he's almost close to growing to level 16. And I just figured out that it's close to evolving into Quagsire right here. Now, if you go here, he's like, I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Well, if you ask politely, then I would. You jerk. Okay, so we have the Pokemaniac Emo Donald, and he's coming out with his Slowpoke. Wow, this is the battle of who's slower. Slowpoke? Literally a guy, a Pokemon name with the word slow on it, and lucky. Pokemon is not so lucky. So we go with that slam attack, very high physical attack, and that took, that took a lot. Took a lot, a lot. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to stick with that slam. Hopefully we hit it. Oh yeah, and beat it with a critical hit. Look at that. Level 16, hello, hello. All right, okay. So here comes out with another slow poke. So I'm gonna go with Teddy, cause you know, it's been a while since I've used Teddy. Teddy misses us. I miss Teddy too. I am so sorry for not using you, Teddy. So here we go, headbutt attack for the win. Oh yeah. Oh no, come on! I should have beaten it. Come on, you jerk. Okay, scratch attack. Let's go. And there's more. Oh, okay, so we're getting some experience. Very good experience. That's good. He's like, God, I lost! This makes me mad! Okay, and uh, we're earning money, sending up some money to Mama. Are you making a Pokedex? Here's a hot tip. The hiker on Route 33, Anthony, is a good guy. He'll phone you if he sees any rare Pokemon. Yeah, I've gotten quite a few uh, calls from this guy. He's annoying. I don't want to talk to him. Talk to this guy, and he's like, do you consider uh, type alignment in battle? If you do, you know your type. Uh, you if you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Okay, all right, let's do this. All right, whatever. So here we go. The Poke Nerd or the Super Nerd. His name is Taru. Coming out with his Magnemite, and wow. Okay, so this could work for our. This could work to our advantage because yes, Lucky is uh, immune to Electric type Pokemon. So. I'm hoping, maybe, I don't know, this attack will work, and yes, it does. And uh, just like that, wow, Magnemite defeated. Remember, in this generation, Magnemite gains the uh, the, the, the steel type typing, whatever. So it is weak against ground type Pokemon, and here we have Voltorb. So I'm just gonna take care of Voltorb right here, you know, that angry Pokemon that looks like a Pokeball. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, it fails. It fails. It completely fails, Vol uh, Voltorb. Yes. So that's another one. Lucky's getting lucky right now. He has been lucky in the last few episodes, and he's coming out with the Magnemite. So this this should be a quick, quick, uh, quick battle right here. So let's go with Mudslap, and ooh. Doesn't beat it. So we go. Mudslap attack. Nothing but net. There you go. Lucky's finally being lucky. His name, finally. And another Magnemite on the field. So, I'm just going to stay with Lucky. It's finally being lucky. Finally. The Rock has come back. And, well, of course, we're not fast enough yet, but we can still do this. Look at that. Bye bye, Magnemite. And there's level 17. Okay, so we're finally getting somewhere with Lucky, but yeah, its speed is still slow. Still slow, come on! Ow, ow, ow! So, what does this guy say? I know my Pokemon type alignments, but I only use one type of Pokemon. Wow, way to go. Way to go. Now, if you go right here, it's a little bit of a long entrance right there, and uh, you can't really go in there. It's locked. Let's see, what does this say? No entry beyond this point, so it seems a little weird. We will go there. I will open you eventually. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to find some hairstylists. Of course, they're not here today. If I would have found one, I probably would have used it on Zubat. And there's one more thing to do. And this guy's, we found ourselves the coin case. So now we can gamble. Pretty cool, we can gamble. And there's a guy there waiting for us. So I'm gonna go with Cinder. It's been a while, you know. Cinder, you need some loving. Lots and lots of loving. Mooncho, mooncho, mooncho. Loving. And my Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Okay, all right, okay. So bring it on, homeboy. Just bring it. I dare you. And we got another Poke Emo Maniac, Isaac, coming out with his lick -a tongue This is a first. Wow. We gotta beat him. Gotta destroy him. Okay, so let's go with that Ember attack. Charcoal, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for that charcoal. And that is a uh, not good. And wow, this is the first time I'm being attacked by a cut attack by an HM move from somebody else in this game. And uh, oh wow, it looks like Lickitung only has one attack, and that happens to be cut. So I'm just gonna hit him with my Amber attack because you know it's uh, it's 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 good, I guess. And bam, level 21 Cinder. 
And he's trying to learn quick attack. Okay, so let's make some room for that. Take away tackle because, you know, tackle obviously misses a lot. And there we go. Isaac has been defeated. Ay! Oh, he can't even... Wow, he, he's like, whatever. Your Pokemon will be more like you if you're... if you Or, wow, I can't even read. Wow. Your Pokemon will like you more if you give them haircuts. I, I know that. I, I really do. And we got one more trainer. Who should I give this battle to? Hmm. Lucky. Talks to Batman. Teddy. Let's go with Teddy. Let's go with Teddy. Teddy... Is, is is a fun Pokemon to have around and here we go here we go he's like I got booted out of the game corner near or the game corner I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon well that's a good thing that you've told me but the thing is man cheating is no good you never win che cheaters never prevail bro so look at that it's a Grimer oh I can see why you would cheat I can really really see why you would cheat because Grimer can't go into those slots and wow nearly beats him there's that pound attack and I'm going to finish you off with a scratch attack look at that yes scratch attack oh yes and super nerd Eric is coming out with a grammar so you know what I'm gonna give this one to lucky because it does have a ground type attack that you know can beat this guy so here we go lucky let's finish him off with some mud slap and that pound attack hits us first. Wow. I didn't even know that Muck was, or not Muck, I mean Grimer, fire, was faster than my Lucky right here. Let's go. Come on, you got, oh. Accuracy fail, or fa fail, fell, wow. Let's go again with that Mud Slap, and it goes all the way, finishes him off. Lucky gets more points, and uh, yeah, look at that. Grumble. What is a grumble? I don't know. Let's see, I guess I have to do things fair and square. Yeah. Cheaters never prevail, homeboy. And there's, oh, there are some shops downstairs, but there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. Hmm. Okay. And would you look at that? We're back over here, close to Bill's grandparents' parents' house. And, well, since we do have. The coin case. I might as well show you guys what's uh, what's up now. If you go right here, he's like, "Welcome to the game corner. Do you need some coins? It costs one thousand for fifty coins. Do you want some?" I was like, "Yeah." So right now, I can only afford fifty coins. Five for five hundred, it's ten thousand. So I'm gonna go with that, and I'm going to be playing just a little bit. Do do some of these guys give you coins? I can't remember. I don't know. So let's play. As you can see, I was right about that whole no Charmander on the slot. So, right here, you can bet from one to three coins. One, it will only get you one, well, one land, like one row of, uh, in the game right here. Two, it will actually get you two, or like three, the actual three, uh, lanes right here. And if you go for three, of course, it'll get you, if you line all, all, whatever. You, you guys know what I mean. I'm so horrible at explaining stuff. So, I'm going to go with three right here. So, here we go. Bam, bam, and bam. Nothing. The more you pay, the more chances you have to win, if you guys get what I mean. So here we go. And nothing. Wow, we're like, we suck at this. Come on. And we nearly won with that Pikachu, so I'm going to go with one. I know we're not going to win at all. Look at that. It's like Vegas all over again. Come on! Help us win! And nothing. Wow. Wow, we suck. Like, we nearly won in both way, in, in more than one way. Wow. This is like Vegas. And, oh, wow. You know what? I might as well just waste all my coins. Look at that. I'm not even winning. Okay, so we won some Pikachus. Look at that. Okay, so one thing I've noticed uh, from going to any kind of casino that I've been to because yes I am of age uh, quit while you're ahead and uh, no I am not going to play I am gonna quit while I'm ahead right here because yeah so that's one game right there and really Wade really it's like good evening Draven it's me Wade are you awake do your Pokemon feel like a Pokemon battle it's it won't be like last time Route 31 is where I'll be let me know when you get there yeah I'm not going over there 
I will not go over there. So, I'm gonna move on forward right here. I think there's another, another game right here where you can actually... A different game, so let's see. Yes, this is a different game right here. And, uh... I have to choose which card right here, so I'm gonna go with this one. And now... You can, it's the same thing as the the slots where if you just choose one, less chance of winning. If you choose one full row, you got mul multiple chances of winning. If you choose two, then there you go. So I'm going to go with two. Hopefully I get it. Come on. Give me some money. And I was right. Look at that. Level one. I got some more. I got some more. So I'm going to go again. And I'm going to just continue on with the same row right here. And what do we got? What do we got? Yes, I win again. Look at that. I am the king of the world. Quit while I'm ahead. I am going to quit while I'm ahead. I cannot do this anymore. Okay, so that's it. And I think this one... Nope. Not that one. I think there's three different kinds of games. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Let's see. What about this row right here? Nope, it's just slots. Just slots. So, as you can see, it's just... A place where you're gonna have fun, uh, earn some coins and all that stuff. Now, if you go up here, they will actually reveal to you what kind of prizes you can get. So you can exchange coins for fabulous prizes. If you have a hundred, you can get a Nabra, eight hundred for uh, Cubone, and well, a thousand five hundred for a Wobbuffet. Doesn't seem that much, but you can capture all three of those Pokemon outside of uh, uh, outside of here. And if you go right here, talk to this lady. She will give you the TM25 for five thousand five hundred. TM14 and TM38, all for 5,500, which, you know, it's going to take a lot of work. A lot of money and everything, yes. A lot of work and a lot of money, which we probably don't have right now. So, I think that's pretty much it for Goldenrod City, except for the shop right here. You know what? I'm probably going to go right here just to finalize the whole thing. Now, this place is just like uh, Celadon City's um, department store, where every single place has its uh, different kind of department. Right here, you can actually buy potions, healing items that you may need uh, outside or during battles. I think this guy right here will sell you something else. He'll sell you Pokeballs, escape ropes, repels, and all that fun stuff. I believe the next, the next floor is the TM room, which they do have some pretty good TMs. Let's see. Talk to this guy. He's like, welcome. And nope, this is the X room, which you can actually buy the X to fan, X attacks, all those X uh, items. And then, let's see, what's the next room? I'm hoping it's the TM room. It's my favorite room of all time. This guy, he will give you, oh, it's the vitamin room. Vitamin. The vitamin room. And this is the TM room. Okay, so if you talk to this guy, you'll get different kinds of TMs right here. And if you guys remember, TM02, which is Headbutt, it, you can always buy it right here. Now, there are different kinds of TMs right here. TM41, which is Thunder Punch. TM48 is Fire Punch. TM33 is Ice Punch. These are three good moves that I'm eventually going to buy and actually going to uh, put onto my Pokemon. But for right now, I'm actually going to get the TM02, like I said in like a few episodes ago, because I do need that for, I do need that for Wooper. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and teach that move to Wooper because yeah, it ha I just checked its stats. It does have a very very high attack, physical attack I should say, and I don't think Slam is a very good move for him since it's very accurate, inaccurate. So there we go, headbutt. And now if you talk to this lady right here, she's like mystery gift. With just a little beep, you can get a gift, which is true. Now if you talk to her. The option will actually appear at the beginning of your screen, so I already have that. Um, I don't have the other Game Boy to actually uh, teach you guys that, but you know, it is a very thing, a good thing to have to actually get mystery gifts from other Pokemon trainers. Now, right here, you can actually buy drinks, different kinds of them, Saudi Pop, lemonade, and all that fun stuff. No, there is nobody here that will actually give you any kind of like TMs, which you know we should need. And here we are in the top floor, and if you go right here, the binoculars let me see far away, and maybe I can see my own house. Is it the one with the green roof? Now, there's a bunch of roofs that are green, so I don't know. Talk to this guy. He's like, oh, wow. Will you quit bothering me? Uh, okay. I'm flipping you off. Flipping you off, bro. Flipping you off now. Talk to her. She's like, wow, I'm tired. I sometimes uh, come up to the rooftop to take a break from shopping. Oh, okay. And look at that. Look at that. We're looking from down below, and we got a few other people here. Let's see. 
This girl, she's like, they they have a bargain sales uh, here every so often, which is true. And this guy's like, pardon, who says an adult can't get into this? I'm going back. I'm going to be back every day to collect all the all the dolls, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, an adult an adult has to have its hobbies. You know, you gotta have your hobbies. I mean, don't don't judge. I guess I don't know. I'm judging them somewhat. I don't know. I'm kind of judging them. So let's go back to the uh, first floor, very first floor right here, and I think that is it for Goldenrod City. I don't think that I'm going to be battling the gym leader just yet because remember she's very infamous for a reason so stay tuned guys in the next episode we will be training just a little bit to get to get better for the golden rod city gym battle so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon crystal walkthrough see you guys